for a long time I didn't believe in painting. For a long time I didn't know if I believed in art. For a long time I distrusted the power structures that surrounded art and its art objects. To me uh, it, it was and actually remains a very bourgeois enterprise. Part of my skepticism was political and social, and part of it was like, how can I add to the his this exalted history of painting that goes back 500 years? How can I add to something, a, a world where there's Vermeers and Velazquez's and Picasso's? You know, a young artist has to kind of deal with that burden of history, so I didn't know how to get out from under it and make something that I could believe in. When I started looking at paintings again, I started thinking about this, this sort of pre-modernist ideal of a painting as a window to another reality and losing yourself in the world depicted by the artist. And I started thinking that that dovetailed uh, interestingly with some of the rhetoric around psychedelic drug culture and these ideas about the sublime and the transcendent, this notion of pleasure and beauty and seduction, like they were all sort of like commingling. And, and as I progressed in that, I started also thinking about like the history of art and the history of sort of utopianism behind art and thinking about the wreckage of utopianism and the rubble of it. I was both thinking about how Malevich or the futurists were co-opted ideologically into very bad places, but also thinking about how the hippies have been kind of co-opted by disco and cocaine, and also kind of dealing with the sort of uh, the last gasps of modernism. So there was all this rubble that I was sort of wandering through of all these sort of dead utopic ideologies and I just started pulling bits out and sort of Frankensteining them together trying to find out what was worth saving and, and I've sort of been building on that ever since.